Hello. Hi. Today we look at rules and regulations. Things you are allowed to do and things you are not allowed to do. We talk about schools. And we visit this place, a secondary school in England. Schools, of course, have lots of rules and regulations. At my school, for example, boys had to wear white shirts. You weren't allowed to wear a shirt that was any other colour. Really? At my school, they didn't let you go into the classroom if the teacher wasn't there. At my school, you were allowed to wear what you liked. And they let you go where you liked, too. Nowadays, some things are different. But some things are the same. When I was at school, you weren't allowed to wear coloured shirts. You weren't permitted to. Nowadays, at some schools, you're allowed to wear anything you like. You're permitted to. When I was at school, they didn't let you go into the classroom if the teacher wasn't there. And it's still the same. They don't let you go into the classroom if the teacher isn't there. What about your school? Were there any rules that you didn't like? I can't remember liking any of them. I disliked all of them. I didn't like having to wear short trousers till I was 13, especially on cold winter days. Where I grew up in the Rio Grande Valley, uh, it was so hot that the temperature um, never got below 60 degrees. And they wouldn't allow us to wear shorts, and I thought that was kind of ridiculous. It always irritated me that only staff were supposed to walk through the front entrance of the school, so I always walked through the front entrance of the school and got in trouble for it. I was fortunate in that I went to a school with no rules. OK. Are you ready? No. Come on. It's easy. Just do this. Now you try. You're supposed to start flapping your wings before you take off. Sorry. Try again. I see. Honestly, you're not supposed to stop flying when you're in the air. You're supposed to keep going. Oh, look, I, I can do it. That's very good. Is it all right if I do it again? Uh, not now. Let's wait until tomorrow. Supposed to do and not supposed to do. You're not supposed to stop. You're not supposed to stop flying when you're in the air. You're supposed to keep going. You're supposed to keep going. In Britain, there are some secondary schools where pupils must pass an exam to get in. They're called grammar schools. Wickham High School is a grammar school for girls. To find out about the school, we'll hear from three people. The head teacher, a teacher of Spanish, and first of all, a pupil in the sixth form, who's 18 years old and in her final year. Wickham High School is a secondary school. It's for girls only and it's a grammar school which means we have to pass an exam before we can enter the school. The girls tend to sit a, an exam at 12 in their primary schools and depending on the results of that exam we take in about the top 30% of intelligence levels. There are only 145 grammar schools in the country out of the several thousand secondary schools in the country, so it isn't typical of secondary education in this country. There are about a thousand pupils. There's a main school and a sixth form, which run separately. 
If we go back to when we were looking at anorexia, what were the causes we looked at? We looked at several. Who can just remember them? Stress. Stress, okay, very stress. In the main school, there is a uniform. Pupils are supposed to wear a blue and white striped shirt. In the second and third years, they're supposed to wear a navy jumper. And in the fourth and fifth years, it's a burgundy jumper. It's a specially designed school jumper with the school emblem on. And they have to wear a navy skirt. At the moment, they let us wear any type of shoe as long as it's black and smart. But when I first joined the school, they made us choose between five different pairs of shoes. And we had to wear one of those. There are also regulations about what they should wear in their hair. They have to wear a certain colour of ribbon or hair ornament and they're supposed to keep their hair out of their eyes for safety reasons. OK, so we've got 500 over V minus V equals 40. In the sixth form, they let us wear what we want to, but it has to be smart and we have to wear skirts, but we're allowed to wear jewellery and things like that. At Wickham High School, there are rules about what you can wear. Girls are supposed to wear blue and white striped shirts, but they can wear any kind of shoes. As long as they're black. But when girls reach the sixth form, that's the last two years at the school, things change. They let us wear what we want to. We're allowed to wear jewellery. But we have to wear skirts. We've heard about the rules for what the pupils must wear. The school also has a lot of rules for how they must behave, what they're supposed to do at lunchtime, what they're allowed to do in study periods, how they should walk in the school, and how they must behave in the classroom. Pupils are supposed to stand up when a teacher walks into the classroom and to remain standing up until the teacher tells them to sit down. Buenos dias, dos them. Buenos dias, senor Raja. Sentaos. Bien, ser y estar. Ser y estar. Let's see who remembers. Nahida, ser, por favor. That is the only rule that they must do, other than that, of course, follow what the teacher is saying, listen to instructions. Now. Eres inglés o americano? Eres inglés o americano? Catherine? Muy bien. Wherever the girls move inside the building, there are fairly narrow corridors and staircases. So girls must walk on the left at all times. They're not allowed to run in the corridor at any time. And they must be very careful when they're climbing stairs to keep to the left. We have to have quite strict rules also about movement outside because we have quite a few narrow walkways and so therefore also there are areas where the girls are only allowed to walk in one direction. So there is um, one way into a building and another way out and they're not allowed to turn around in the wrong direction. The main school have to stay on site during the lunch hour but the sixth form are allowed to go outside school as long as they're back within the hour. We're not allowed to go down to the bottom of the field and there's another area around the side of one of the buildings where we're not supposed to go either. The perimeters of the school field are actually out of view from the main buildings, and girls may not go beyond an area where the ground dips down and they're out of sight. This is for their own safety, as well as for us to make sure that they're not breaking the no smoking rule. The rules about smoking in the school are strict. No girl is permitted to smoke under any circumstances, either in school or on her way to and from school. In the sixth form, there are three areas in which we can stay during the study periods. We can either go to the library, and that's a silent area, so we're not allowed to speak at all, or we can go to the study room, 
Um, we're permitted to eat and to talk quietly in there. Or we can stay in the common room and we're, we can do anything in there. We can make as much noise as we like. <laughs> I think the ability to conform to rules, provided those rules are accepted as reasonable and sensible, is part of being a law-abiding citizen and being able to fit in to whatever social structure you're in. I see no reason why girls should not question rules and I would encourage them to do that. I think it does prepare them for the world of work where there are even stricter rules and regulations in many ways, particularly in health and safety, and things that one can, must or must not do. The head teacher explaining why she thinks rules are a good thing. Why do they have to walk on the left? I don't know. Maybe it's because we have to drive on the left in Britain. Oh, yeah. When they get to the sixth form, the girls have more choice in everything. For instance, in their free time, there are three places they can go. The library, the study room and the common room. In the library, we're not allowed to speak at all. In the study room, we're permitted to eat and talk quietly. In the common room, we can make as much noise as we like. I have a question. What's that? Why do you have to drive on the left in Britain? Well... It's a long story. Goodbye. Goodbye. Bye.